today we're gonna learn how to create a classic black and white image like this in photoshop so without any further ado let's get started So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and follow along using this photo, make sure to check the links in the description to download it. Alright, so the first thing that you need to do is to create a black and white adjustment layer. As the name suggests, click on the adjustment layer icon and choose black and white. And play with the sliders. Simply play with the sliders with one objective in mind. What is the objective? The focus should remain with the subject. Okay, move the sliders in such a way that a focus is created towards the subject, not towards the background, all right? So if we move the reds to the right, doesn't make much of a difference, but if you move it to the left, mm, not much of a difference. So leave it for now. Any slider which is not making any sense right now, leave it, we'll move it later, right? Yellows, if you take the yellow to the right, the grass is becoming brighter, thus taking away the attention from the subject. So take yellows to the left. This point is fine. And similarly, take the greens to the left. Make the grasses darker. The seans to the left. The blues, take it down. You want details in the clouds. Magenta, let's play with it. Not much of a difference. At this point, let's zoom in and let's play with the reds, right? If you increase the reds, you see extra details in the clouds, so that's fine increase the reds and also at the same time if we increase the red look at her skin her skin is becoming brighter which means that we have more attention towards the subject so we'll move it to the right not too much this much is fine have a look at the before and after so this is the after and this is the before all right now let's go ahead and darken it a bit now the grass is looking a little strange over there so let's try probably increasing the yellows a little bit and decreasing the greens. Seans. That will be taken care of later. Don't worry about it so much right now. Let's go ahead and add a curves adjustment layer and make the overall image a little darker. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves. Now, you wanna make the bright areas darker because in the bright areas we have the sky, all right? So simply pick up this area, click a point and take it down like so. That's interesting. Now we want to make the shadows a little brighter and always remember in the curves, left side represents the dark areas, the right side represents the bright areas, okay? So increase the shadows, thus giving it a matte effect. That looks wonderful, doesn't it? Okay, just a little bit. Now let's zoom in and we want the brightness back on the subject. Here's what we do. Make sure the mask is selected. Take the brush, the foreground color, black, okay? decrease the size, increase the flow to somewhere around probably, let's make it 100. I'll show you why. Let's make it 100 and just dab in on the subject on specific parts, okay? Just like this, once, this, once, okay? Just keep on making it brighter, okay? This one, just dab on the bright areas, like so. A Little bit on this area, probably this area. You're just simply painting in, right? Like that. Okay, now we have painted a little extra, so we need to remove the extras. How to do that? Make sure you change the foreground color from black to white. Now, simple concept of masks, white are the areas where the layer or the effect or the adjustment layers show up, black are the areas where it doesn't show up. So in this adjustment layer, we have made it darker. So white are the areas where the darkness shows up. So we need to make this darker by choosing white and painting it outside, just like this. Not too much, just be careful with it. Just like so, okay? You don't have to be super accurate about this because we're gonna decrease the opacity of the mask. Now, what does that mean? I'll show you in a moment. That's pretty fine, that's looking great. Probably we'll take the brush, change it to black and paint a little brightness over there, a little bit. Change it back to white and paint in these areas. That looks fine. Now, with the mask selected, what you can do, if you think it's too bright, if you think it's too bright, you can decrease the density of the mask. What it does is that it fades the mask a little bit. So 
If I just make the mask appear by holding the Alt or Option, click on the mask. So this is how the mask looks. If you decrease the density, it lightens it up a little bit, thus decreasing the effect of the mask. Hold the Alt or Option, click on it again and see what the effect it yields. So this is complete a little bit. So that looks good. 50 looks good. Let's zoom in quite a bit and I think an area is a little brighter. So this area, I think it's a little brighter. We'll have to darken it up. Okay, so there you have added more attention to the subject. Let's go ahead and create one more curves adjustment layer, okay? Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves. This time, let's add an attention to the road she's walking in. Increase it a bit like so and increase the contrast a bit. Select the mask, press Ctrl or Command I. Take the brush, make the brush bigger, make sure white is the foreground color. Bigger like this, that's fine. Click here once, just click here once. Hold the shift, click on the other side. Have a look, we have added attention to the words. Here's how to create a straight line. All you have to do, again I'm gonna tell you, just any brush, whether you're using the clone tool or the simple brush or even the spot healing brush tool or the healing brush tool, any tool which has to do something with the brush, just select that tool and if you dab once and hold the shift, click on the other end, it creates a line. Always remember that, okay? So similarly, we did it here. Make the brush a little bigger, like so. Click once over there, hold the shift, click on the other side and that creates this. Now, we don't want it all throughout. So here's what we do. Make the brush a little more bigger, change the color from white to black and zoom out and just paint here once like that and paint on the other side like that. So we took away the effect from both the sides and it's not too much. At this point, if you think it's too much, you can always go ahead and decrease the opacity of this one like so. Keep it something like this and we want to erase the effect from the grass. So we'll just take the blacks and just erase it from over there like so. Decrease the opacity even more. Little bit of it. Okay, that looks great. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. You can actually go ahead and take this opportunity to add some more highlights to the subject. So let's zoom in, take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white because we want to add highlights. Just zoom in like that and just dab. Face over here, over there, and there you go. That's how you have extra highlights on the subject. Let's zoom out and have a look. If it's too much, you can always go ahead, take the brush, make sure black is the foreground color, decrease the flow and just paint in quite a bit over there, here and on her legs if you want that to happen. Now that looks natural, but not so quick. At this point, you might want to zoom out and have an overall look at the image. So let's go ahead and zoom out. And if we zoom out, we can see which areas are too dark or too bright and looks odd. Have a look at her leg. It looks very bright. Let's solve it. Let's zoom in and take the brush and with black, just paint a little bit over there, a little bit over here. And now that looks natural, doesn't it? All right, before, after. Now it's time for us to add a vignette effect. How to do that? Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose levels. Take the bottom slider from the right to the left, just like this. Make sure the mask is selected and then take the brush, make sure the foreground color is black, make the brush a little larger and make it hard, 100% hard. It might be soft, make it hard, okay? You can increase the hardness from here, just click on the drop down and just increase the hardness to 100%. You can also go ahead and hold the Alt or Option. Drag it to the right to make it bigger, to the left to make it smaller, drag it down to make it hard, up to make it soft. So make it hard, totally hard, and just dab once. And make sure the flow is at 100%, all right? Just like this. And then press Control or Command T and adjust the size of this. This is actually the vignette. We'll feather it later, but adjust how it should look. It should look something like this. That looks wonderful. We want the balloon over there. That looks just about right. Hit enter or return if you're satisfied. And then with the mask selected, open up the properties, 
This should be open. If you don't see it, go to Windows and then make sure Properties is checked. And then increase the feather of this one to the point where it looks good. For me, I guess I would go with around 520. There you go, something like that. Have a look before, after. Now, the last step, let's add a matte effect. It's already added, let's add a little more. Curves adjustment layer, and then take it up from there, just like this. And take it a little bit to the right to lose details, to take away the details, like that. So, here's the trick. Take it up to increase the brightness in the shadows, and take it to the right to take away the details in the shadows, like that. Now that looks like something. And at the end, if you want to add some noise to it, it's also very simple to do. Press Control Shift N, Command Shift N if you're using a Mac, and once you press it, the new layer dialog box shows up. Also, as you can do, you can go to Layer, New, and then Layer. Same thing, and let's name it Noise. And change the blend mode from Normal to Overlay, and make sure you check this. Fill with Overlay Neutral Color. Okay, and okay. All right, now, you see that there's gray in this layer, but you don't see any gray over there. Why? Because overlay is a blend mode which hides everything which is 50% gray. Now let's add noise to it, but how? You might say go to filter and then noise and then add noise. But if you do that, have a look, it does add noise to this, but this just has one slider and one option. You can increase it and just make sure the monochrome is checked and it kind of, you don't have much of a control over there. Instead of this, what you can also do, Photoshop, I don't know what the engineers at Photoshop were thinking, but they have added an amazing noise tool inside of the blur gallery. I wish they made it separately, but they didn't. I don't know why. So go to filter, blur gallery, and choose anything that you like, field blur. It's completely gray, so it doesn't matter if you blur it. Okay, now, doesn't matter whatever the blur is, just have a look at this effect at the bottom. So there's effect, there's motion effects, and then there is noise. You can increase the amount to 100%. Let's increase it to 100% so that we can decrease it later by using opacity. Then size of the noise, you can increase the size according to your liking. You can increase the roughness, play with the values. That looks fantastic. And once you're satisfied with this, hit OK. So there you go, this adds noise to the image. You can go ahead and decrease the amount of noise by using the opacity slider. You can always go ahead and take it down if you want to, or take it up, all right? And also, if you want the bright areas in the image to not have noise, and the noise to be limited just to the dark areas, you can go ahead and add a blend if. Double click on the right hand side of the layer, and you can take away the noise from the bright areas by bringing this slider from right to left, just like this. Now this is very harsh, hold the Alt or Option, click on it, break it down, and slowly do it something like this. Now that looks wonderful, hit OK. And there you go, now as you can see, there's not much noise in the bright areas, but noise is just limited to the dark areas. See, very much noise, very less noise. So that's also something you can do. If you wanted to change the size of the noise and all that stuff, you could have converted this into a smart object. But keep in mind, that makes things a little bit slower. You can also go ahead and add some more contrast to it if you want, add one more curves, and always remember, whatever you do, make sure the noise is always at the top, okay? Just keep that in mind. Now you can go ahead and add curves if you want to, and add some more contrast to it, just a little more contrast to it, and there you go, this is our final image. So there you go, before, after. Now, it is important that you take a break and get back to the image, and look at what is missing. Now, when I look at it after a break, I see that the grasses should be a little brighter. So I'll go back to that black and white and make the yellows a little brighter like so, like that. And the road should also be a little brighter. Make the greens a little to that. The road, increase the opacity of this one, and like that. Let's zoom in and paint back in these areas with the brush, make sure the mask is selected, the brush, and with white, we'll just paint, decrease the flow to somewhere around 10%, just paint back in this area with white, paint, remove the legs, and you can work stuff like that. Okay, there you go, we have done that. And that's pretty much it. And this is something which I took a little more time to create. So that's how to create a classic black and white image in Photoshop. Just to sum it up, first of all, create a black and white adjustment layer. Move the sliders in such a way 
that the attention stays on with the subject. After that, it's your tool. Play it. Play with as much curves as you like. Play with masking. Just get into the game. And then you can go ahead and add a vignette effect using levels. Then you can go ahead and add a matte effect using another curves. And at the end, do not forget to add the noise. How to add the noise? Control Shift N. Command Shift N. This opens up the new layer dialog box. Choose Overlay as a blend mode. Make sure you check Fill with Overlay Neutral Color. Click OK. And then using Blur Gallery, add the noise effect. And that's all there is. Hope this video was helpful and if this was, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.